a special one-off occasion to bring you coverage of tonight it's the final of the Europa League it's Real Madrid facing Milan well the long road from the start of the competition almost a year ago to the final is here both teams had the added advantage of if they win this competition a Champions League place is available Here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. This is the Milan starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. A really sumptuous ball just drifted into the illegal position offside in the opinion of the officials. It's with Jose Lu. Well, let's see, does he mean business? And the danger cleared. Let's we'll see what he has in store for them. Well, is he going to give them the advantage? Oh, it's gone in! And you have to feel for him now. It will go down as an own goal. Let's see that again. I don't want to look at it as a former defender. I've scored a few of these in my time, and they were always my fault. Got blamed for all of them. Important the players pick him up from here on in. Well, an own goal that has left them trailing and flailing. Carvajal. Excellent challenge. If there's such a thing as the perfect challenge, that was it. But a throw in. Will he play it in? Carrying a genuine threat here. And now having a go. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Given away by Milan. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. And now, passing it through. As an attacking player, you rather hope you'll get the decision in your favour, but offside here. Yeah, the defence got that spot on, and so did the linesman. It's with Diaz. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. And with the goalkeeper... Real Madrid have given it away. 
And can he make this move count? Running with the ball confidently. It's with Jose Lu. On the ball, Salamakers. And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Well, they did have possession of the ball, but all that good work now counts for nothing. Milan have lost the ball. They're advancing here, Real Madrid. Can they take advantage of the position they're in? The ball with Luka Modric. The object of the exercise is to keep them out. Well, they are on the wrong end of the scoreline. But, Lee, your overall thoughts on their current situation? Well, I have to say, six out of ten for Real Madrid in this first half. They've been the nearly team. It's close, but they just need to be a bit more aggressive in midfield. Get the ball into wide areas. Get the ball in the box. Stretch the opposition. Ben Asser. Brahim Diaz now. Rudiger has it. Passing like that, part of Luka Modric's game. It is a decent looking attack here. It's with Diaz. Davide Calabria. Given away by the Rossoneri. And given away. Showing fine vision, and offside it is. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Vanessa. Now, what can he do here? Half time, and from the neutral point of view, a cracking first half in this UEFA Europa League final league. Well, from everybody's point of view, it's been an absolutely brilliant game. I've enjoyed every single second of it. We've had incident, we've had tactics, we've had all sorts, confrontation. Bring it on. Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway others in the vicinity well let's see does he mean business is he going to punish them here? Just wanted to get it out of there. I must say, no shortage of space. Well, he failed to get it away properly. It's there for him. And the post coming to the... Shiro! And the goal is his. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, a second goal for them here. The ball with Luka Modric. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. A 
And that's a deep corner. Carrying a genuine threat here. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Well, body in the way. So, a Real Madrid corner. And that's a corner. Over it comes. Thumps clear. And can he make this move count? And a throw in it's going to be. No worries for the keeper. An awful lot of green space to run into. He has been deemed to be offside, not by Muchley. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that, spot on. Substitution for Real Madrid. Ball with Luka Modric. Radek Krunic. Ben Asser. And to Rebic has it. Modric. Read it superbly to take back possession. Let's see what he has in store for them. So it's going to be a goal kick here. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Now Jose Lu, and dispossessed, Teo Hernandez. Attempting to play catch-up in this second half. Lee, what ought the priorities to be? Well, they've not been at their best tonight, Real, for me. A little bit off-colour in all departments, but they're still in this game, make no mistake about that. We used to say to each other on the pitch, if we were losing near the end of a game, we're bound to get one more chance. Let's see if they do. It's still alive. Now, what can he do here? Quick thinking to dispossess his opponents. Given away by the Rossoneri. Luka Modric. And options in the centre. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Calabria. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Well, great read there to intercept. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. An abundance of space. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's have another view of that goal. <laughs> it's
It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. And quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line celebrating with all their teammates. I'm pretty sure all the subs, etc., will come running on as well. A great, great night for this football club. It's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, all those months of hard training sessions, pre-season training, you kind of look forward to get yourself through those sessions. And they'll be looking forward at moments like this. And they've finally got their hands on this fantastic, magnificent trophy. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Long celebrations into the night, I'm pretty sure, Derek. It's going to go on and on. Yeah, I think they have every intention of making this last as long as possible. One more trophy left, why not? Yes. And now they get to enjoy the moment with the fans who have made the journey here for the final. Well, it's their trophy as well, and they play a huge part in a club season, not only domestically, but in competitions abroad they travel far and wide to watch this team and they're celebrating and sharing this moment absolutely fantastic and pictures now to be captured for eternity what an experience Lee it is yeah get yourself on the front row that's what my mum always said <laughs> you're in the photographs right next to that trophy the Europa League winners.